Hello. So a few weeks ago, I did a video on how to set up table um, goal to actual visualization with SVG bullet charts. So it looked something like this, where for each of your salespeople, you have a goal and an actual and you have a column that displays a, um, a little mini chart to show progress. And um, this is cool. But um, what I wanted to do is a follow up video on how to use bar charts to visualize the same kind of data. So what I did here is added a bar chart. And this is actually the line and clustered column chart. And what you can do with this is use the line to display the goal information here. And what this gives you is um, it lets you use the out of the box tooltip to um, have some context on the data. And you can also sort this by any of the measures in your visual. So if you wanted to sort this by the actual amount, you could do that. Um, you can sort it by the percentage to the goal. So the people that are meeting their goal show up first, people who are far away from their goal show up at the end of the chart. Um, you can do that however you like. Um, you can also add, if you want to, conditional formatting to the bars. I didn't do that here because I feel like um, it adds a little bit too much noise as far as the color goes. And I'm using the sort instead to sort the thing well to the front and other people not so well to the back. Um, so let's just jump into this. I'm going to create a new tab. And... What I like to do for these things is to have both the goal and the actual as measures, but also the percentage of progress to the goal. So that would be, I have that up here. Yeah, so dividing the, um, the actual by the goal. And what that'll do is um, give you a, an extra number so that in the sort you can use a tooltip. Um, but it gives gives you a um, a third data point that is valuable for that information. So I'm just going to put in goal. So the goal I'm going to put that in line y axis, and I am going to put the actual. All on my axis and then the x axis i'm going to put the salesperson name but also do the region here if you want to do by region all right so here's our starting point obviously this is not um, getting us exactly where we want to be so let's change this up a little bit um first thing i'm going to do is turn off grid lines because let's never use those not necessary when you've got hover tool tips. And next thing we want to do is, um, and this is the big trick here, is to go to our lines and set stroke width to zero. So what that does is it hides the line that is connecting the data points. And we come down here to markers. I'm going to turn markers on and we're going to set the shape to this line here and I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger so that you can see it easier. All right now let's change our colors so I'm going to do bars I'm going to do gray and goal to match the colors I have going on with everything else here. Set that, so that's under markers. I'm gonna set that to orange. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now let's add our percentage to the goal and we can use that to sort and as the tool tip. All right, and again, this is just actual divided by goal formatted as a percentage, so you can change how it's formatted here. I've got zero decimal points because the decimal point space. Add that as a tooltip. When you add it to the tooltip, it'll let you sort by it. I'm going to change the names of these to be a little bit shorter. 
actual okay so now we can sort this so i'm going to sort it by progress to goal by default it's going to go um for to do descending first sometimes it'll default to ascending and then you have to switch it but uh, you can switch it off in here and it looks like the color that the legend is using is not actually displaying so let's go figure out what's going on there so that's probably under the lines because it's showing the color for the line that we hid so we want to change that to the same color that we're using for get markers and you can turn on data labels in here too while you're at it. They look kind of nice. So if you turn it on, it's going to turn it on for everything and it's kind of a huge mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the goal and turn it off for the goal, on for the actuals. And that looks pretty good actually. Um, so we are done. That was how to visualize your goal to actual progress in Power BI using Core Visuals. Thank you for watching.